So we have decided to go ahead and um, finish the downstairs guest bedroom. So today we're going to be looking at some guest bedroom furniture. looking at furniture today and hopefully we can come up with something I kind of wore Eric down I think um, a few videos ago we had said that we were done and we weren't going to do the uh, guest bedroom yet but I think I want to go ahead and do it this particular furniture store that we're in is having some really good sales the prices are great today Oh my gosh. All right, so we decided to take a break from furniture shopping to grab a quick bite to eat for lunch. Okay, this is bottom. The one is up there. going to a new place today we've never been there uh, for lunch it is a Vietnamese place uh, babe, you know the name of it? I do not remember the name I think it's kind of a, a chain it's a fast casual chain yeah but I uh, get good reviews we've never really had Vietnamese before so it should be fun looking forward to it because I am starving no I know that's good that is great Bueno. <laughs> it was so good. It was so good. I will say though, they were a little bit slow. What do you think? It was good. Uh, it was really good, but it was they were slow. You think they were, were a little slow? slow? It wasn't too bad. Uh, yeah. It the food, the thing about it was I just want to say that was a yogurt place. <laughs> the food was really fresh. Everything yeah. tasted the, the chicken, the shrimp, the rice, it was really, really fresh. So it was I would definitely we'll definitely do it again. It was really good. Yeah, it was delicious. walking off our lunch and the um, fox is uh <laughs> for those of you who are familiar with atlanta the fox is like our main theater they do broadway shows i think hamilton was either just here or might still be playing mm -hmm. and they just had the world premiere or the atlanta premiere of uh infinity wars avengers infinity wars which we are going to see tomorrow tomorrow at cine bistro our favorite movie theater yes do you think chad with bozeman was at yeah. the one here yesterday i don't know I wonder. I think Chadwick is, uh, some of the pictures I've seen. Of he's him, tired. He's kind of tired of promoting uh, Avengers and Black Panther. I think Chadwick's yeah, he's, ready for it. He's vacation. doing the Howard, what, commencement speech. Yeah. And I think he said that after the speech, he yeah. is going Done. on a much needed vacation. <laughs> Are you excited? 
excited about seeing Avengers. We have on our Black Panther tees. There's Eric. <laughs> Are you excited? Absolutely. So we're heading into Cine Bistro. This has, I mean, I mean, we have been coming to Cine Bistro for like forever and we are so spoiled and we just refuse to go to any other movie theater. I just love it. You, you know where your seat is. There's the food. It's just delicious. It's not just your regular popcorn and nachos. <laughs> yeah, they have actual meals. Yeah. We should talk about AMC dining that we did at Disney Springs that was a disaster. We'll oh my gosh, we'll talk about that later, but that was a disaster. But we'll let you guys know how the movie went. I'm so excited. We just finished watching the movie. The current debate is, was it better than Black Panther? Uh, Our son thinks it was. He thinks it was. I'm gonna say it was not better than Black Panther, but it was close. It was really, it was really good, good. Do yourself a favor, especially if you live here in Atlanta, and stay tuned. Yeah, there are some definite. Eric, make sure you're recording. Look at who we just ran That's into right. at the movie Hello, my name is Linda. And there's her daughter. Hi. <laughs> I can't believe I saw Tanny. Nice to meet you. It's so good to meet you. I got to get a hug from you, too. Thank you. It was great. All right. You too. Right. Have a good Keep your vlogs up. Thank you. We will. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks so much for coming over, Sam. Bye, right, guys. <laughs> See you in the next video. All right. <laughs> oh, that was so cool. Was oh, my gosh. That was so cute. Well, that was neat. So. If you're from Georgia or Atlanta, you will have a lot of Atlanta civic pride because there are several scenes that you could tell were shot right off Peachtree Street. Yeah. We won't give yeah. away the name of the street. If you know the name of the street, put it in the comments, but I'll give you a hint. It's off Peachtree Street. Right down from the Rialto. Yeah, near like <laughs> Georgia Pacific and Rialto. So mm -hmm. if you know the name of that street and you recognized it, put it in the comments. All right, guys, so on the menu for tonight's dinner are these succulent, quick and easy Jamaican style short ribs. Oh my gosh, guys. Operative words here being quick and easy. Thank you so much to Kasori for sending out this six quart pressure cooker for me to give a try. It has been amazing, an amazing addition to my kitchen appliances. Thank you so much, Kasori, once again. You guys know when you are making meats like short ribs or even oxtails, they can take the better part of the day to prepare and cook. Using this six quart pressure cooker, I made this meal for Eric Chase and I in under 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, it was so easy. And they were fall off the bone. Delicious. So again, thank you, Kasori. You guys can make just about seven things with this pressure cooker at once. Um, one of the things that you can do with it that I am just really loving is the fact that it also doubles as a slow cooker. So let's take a look here at what you get with your pressure cooker. So with your unit guys, you get your stainless steel inner pot. You also get your steamer rack. You of course know that you can steam veggies guys, but you can also put whole eggs in this unit and give them a quick boil. You get your beautiful glass lid there. How cute is that? You get your measuring cup, you cuff, you get a ladle, you get a rice spoon. You actually get two of these ceiling rings. One ring is already attached. You get this gorgeous recipe book, okay? There's so many colorful pictures in here and and uh, included in this book are just very detailed instructions. I'm really looking forward to trying out some of these recipes myself. So guys, I like to start my short ribs out on top of the stove in a traditional pan, letting them get a little bit of color and a little canola oil there. And then I'm just going to add in my other ingredients. 
you can of course let these ingredients marinate on your short ribs overnight but remember these are quick and simple Jamaican style short ribs so I'm just gonna pile all my ingredients in let them get a little color and then we're gonna transfer them over to the pressure cooker guys so at this point I am really happy with the color and here on my short ribs so I'm going to transfer them to the inner pot of my Kasori pressure cooker add about two cups of beef stock set my timer for 30 minutes and just like that guys they are a fall off the bone succulent we enjoyed these over a nice bed of rice so once again thank you Kasori for sending me out this six quart pressure cooker guys I will leave all of their information below you can purchase yours if you are so inclined on amazon.com all right so I am just back from running a few errands and while I was out I actually ran into Marshall's DSW Target and when I got home I saw that I had a package waiting on me from Fashion File. Fashion File is a well I'll tell you more about Fashion File in a minute but this was my first time shopping with them but anyway let's start right here with Marshall's and see what we picked up. All right so first out of the bag is this toiletry bag this toiletry bag is for chase i picked this up for him to use on our upcoming trip to disney world oh my gosh the countdown is on and we are ready to go so this will be for him all right so i also picked up a toiletry bag for myself i love this color it's like a pinky coral and white just the perfect size i love it it has these handles on it here and so when you zip it down okay it has two zipper zippers on either side so when you zip it open you have two sides there each side is self-contained i love that it's kind of sealed in with plastic or yeah, I think this is a plastic, but this will be perfect for those liquids that you do not want spilled out into your suitcase leaking onto your clothes. So I love that. And then on the back, there's this bonus little open little pocket here. It has a zipper also. And so in here, in this little pocket, I can put my little stud earrings or my little delicate necklaces can go in there. So looking forward to packing this up. All right, let's see what else we got. I also picked up this little cosmetic bag. You can also use it as a you know, personal hygiene bag, but it is also in this same little pinky coral and um, coral and white or pink and white, really love it. It's a nice size bag. Yeah, and Marshall's had so many of these. There were so many different designs and colors. It was really kind of hard for me to choose from, but I went with these colors here, this color here in the end. All right, also, all right, so you guys, if you have been a member of the Unfrumpy Mommy Life channel for a while, you guys will recall that I have just a wee tiny bit, well, maybe a large hotel phobia. I still have it. I'm trying to work through my issues, but I still have it. So um, what I like to do to kind of help calm me down is take as many little smell good items as I can okay and I use things like these these are these are pretty cheap this is new by Rihanna this was $6.99 um, let's see if I can give you guys a, a sense of what it smells like mm, I know I, don't, I wouldn't say there's anything really special about this particular scent but it does kind of I don't know I 
<laughs> no, it calms me down. Just nice. It is a nice scent, but it's not something that I've never smelled before. It's like a, you know, these little um, body mists that you can get from, you know, Victoria's Secret or uh, Bath and Body Works. They all pretty much smell the same. But what I do is before I get in the shower, because my hotel phobia really kicks up or is really heightened when I have to take a shower in, you know, a hotel. I just really don't like taking showers into in hotels, but you know, it is a must. So what I like to do is start my water running in the shower, and then I mist some of this in the shower, and when I get into the shower, you know, you have a really pleasant, calming scent. And of course, I could use my, you know, I have perfumes that I could use. Perfumes are expensive, so I'd rather kind of use these little, you know, six and seven dollar sprays. So I have this one, and this is Nude by Rihanna. I do love the packaging on it. I also have, let's see, this is Hawaiian Tropic. I purchased this one solely off of the bottle and the little picture here on the front. It reminds me of Hawaii. Uh, a few years ago, Eric Chase and I went to Hawaii for the 4th of July. So um, I picked this up. This was $5.50. It was on clearance. And mm, now this smells good. This really smells like a really island tropical scent. And um, kind of similar to the Rihanna one, but I think I like this one the best. I think I like the Hawaii Tropic the best. And I have one more item here from Marshalls. And this is Alfred's Song. I have never heard of this in my life, but it was cheap. It was $7.99. And what I plan on doing with this one, so I don't even know what this one smells like. I wasn't able to smell it in the store. So we'll do a smell test here together. Let's see. Oh, cute little bottle. So that's the bottle right there. So what I plan on doing with this, this is just a perfect size to put in my purse to take into the parks. Again, going to Disney World. Ugh, you guys know how theme park or amusement park restrooms can be, especially the female restrooms. I don't know what we do when we go in the female restrooms, but I like to come armed and prepared so that when I go in, let's say it's the only one there, I can spray it going in and coming out. <laughs> so this is what I picked up. Mmm, mm, this smells really nice. A really, really nice, sweet uh, perfume. So, oh my gosh, this one smells really good. Really, really good. So that was a good buy on that. So let me stick all of this back in here. So that's everything from Marshall. Right. Okay. Next up, let's go to DSW. So at DSW, I always have a coupon. I love, love, love DSW. If you shop, if you buy shoes often, you have to do is do shop at DSW. They're always sending out coupons. So on today, I had a $20 coupon. And if you buy a pair of sandals, they will send you another $20 coupon. So I did buy some sandals, but I want to share with you first my new sneakers. I love, love sneakers. Eric, um, <laughs> he really was he really tried to persuade me from purchasing these shoes he you know said that I had enough sneakers that I'd already purchased so many pairs of sneakers this year but I, I just couldn't hear him these look like such a classic retro sneaker I had to get them these are Sacconi's I think that's how you pronounce it or that's how I pronounce it Sacconi they are so stinking cute I love this color it's like a mauve beige I hope you guys can see that, but I just could not leave these shoes in the store. Like how cute are those? I just love these, they're so comfortable. But honestly, if they weren't really comfortable, I probably would have purchased these anyway because they're so stinky cute. I love that they come with two shoe strings. You have that mauve brown string. And then of course you have the white string so you can wear it. Uh, how they came packaged here with both shoes, shoe strings, or you can take, uh, you know, one out and, you know, rock them any way you want. All right, so those are my new sneaks. <laughs> I love those so much. All right, so I did go ahead and get a pair of sandals because I do want that coupon, all right? 
So these are by the brand Blowfish. Blowfish. Um, I've seen them in DSW before, but this is my first time actually pers purchasing a pair, but I love these. I thought that these look so different. They have like a linen type of top here with a leather strap and then it has like a zipper here on the side a really cute sandal it has just a slight little heel but um i just love these and so because i purchased the sandals today they will be sending me an additional 20 dollar off coupon they sent it right to my um email and so i'll have that 20 dollars you know to purchase another pair of shoes so love these two items that I picked up today. All right, uh, let's see the sandals. Will I take these on the trip? Not sure if the sandals will go with me on the Disney trip. Again, we are going to Montreal. Um, so maybe they'll come along on that trip, but the Sacconi, yeah, they probably will go with me. All right, so that's everything from DSW. All right, so on to Target. All right, Target, just some hair color. I picked up a satin bonnet. I had never purchased one of these before. I've never used one of these, but I did love the fact that it had this wide edge to it. And um, so I'm gonna give this a try and hope I like it. Let's see, just some cosmetic wedges. You guys know that I do not use brushes anymore on my face. I kind of discovered that the brushes, the bristles poking into my skin was really causing me to have some breakouts. And ever since I've started using these cosmetic wedges, I have to say I have not had as many breakouts. You know, you as women, we're still gonna get a breakout here and there, but using these, I have not had as many breakouts um, as I've had in the past when I applied my makeup. <laughs> All right, so um, I also purchased some of these foundation uh, wedges also. And I picked up these Kiss nails. Picked up these. These nails are actually what I'm wearing now. I love these. Every time I go out and like I was at the doctor a few days ago and my doctor was like, oh my gosh, that nail color is so pretty. What color is that? Is it gel? And I told her, no, nope, it was Kiss Nails. So I've had these on for about two weeks and um, I'm thinking that I will probably do my own nails for this particular trip. Couldn't decide on the color, so I purchased two boxes of those. All right, put that back in here. Also, at Target, I purchased a denim shirt. All right, so we're going to Montreal. Um, and so, you know, on the flights, it can get a little bit chilly, even though we're, though we're gonna be traveling during the, you know, warmer months. It can get a little chilly on the airplane. And also, Canada can have, you know, their weather can be kind of wonky. So, I purchased this oversized denim shirt to kind of wear while I am there. I love oversized denim shirts. I love oversized shirts in general. Eric, Eric hates it, but, you know. <laughs> I love them. So I purchased this one. This one is actually a 2X and I just love the fit on it. All right, so this was at Target and it's the Ava Viv brand. I'm not sure if that's a new brand at Target, but I thought it was really cute. I purchased this St. Ives Radiant Skin Pink Lemon and Mandarin Orange Scrub. I've used St. Ives before, but it's usually the apricot scrub and i thought this was neat and it smells really good so i picked it up and um i'll have to let you guys know how i like that all right let's see also at target i picked up these boots that i plan on wearing when i do my gardening you guys know it's spring I love working out in the yard, so I purchased these. They are so cute, so, so cute. I thought that they, would, they weren't gonna fit because to me they look kind of small, but it's a size 11 and they're so comfortable too. So I'll be rocking these while I'm out there planting flowers. 
this spring and summer. All right. I also picked up just a, if I can get it out of the bag, just a white tank. Okay. I have a pair of pants that I thought needed just a basic white tank. So I picked that up and this was only eight bucks. And I was surprised because it's a really nice fabric. All right. I picked up this shirt right here. This is actually for Chase. I thought he would look really snazzy wearing this in Montreal. So picked that up for him. Really cute. Also at Target, I picked up this shirt for Eric. It says A Town Down. If you live in Atlanta, you know the little, I guess you little little saying, piece up, A Town Down. So he likes that little shirt for him. All right, so these next purchases. Okay, now listen. All right, please reserve your judgment, okay, until I finish, finish my explanation. So I purchased some Fruit of the Loom boxer briefs. These are for me. These are mine, all right? So here's the thing, okay? I don't generally wear men's underwear, okay? But here's the thing. For Disney, a few videos back, I shared with you guys that I will be wearing all dresses, all dresses for the trip. Now, Disney is just, it's amusement parks, amusement parks. And, you know, getting on and off rides, I want to make sure, you know, no one gets flashed while I'm getting on and off the rides. So, um, I went looking for just some of your, you know, the biker shorts that we wear to work out in. I could not find a single one. So, the closest thing I could find to just some biker shorts to wear underneath my dresses were these Fruit of the Loom boxer briefs. And I think they'll be fine. I got them all in dark colors, okay? And um, I just got a size small, so I'm hoping that they will fit. So yeah, picked up three packs of these today. And all right, let's see, we have one more Target bag here today. Let's see, fedoras. I, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with hats. I think I shared this, I don't know, a few videos ago. I love hats. I am a hat girl, okay? So I'm wearing one today. This, this one I actually purchased today from Target. I could not wait to put it on. These hats were all purchased over in the men's department. I love the way the men's hats fit. I just think when you purchase the hats out of the, the women's department, they are a little bit too small and I like kind of a slouchy look to my hats, okay? So over the men's department, this is the Goodfellow and Company brand and this hat was $16.99. I picked up this off-white and black one. This one was also $16.99. How cute is that? And I picked up this one. All of these are from the men's department. The brand is Goodfellow and Company and this straw one was $16.99 as well. So I'll be taking these hats to both Orlando and Montreal here shortly. All right, so that's everything from Target, Marshalls, and DSW, all right? Let's now take a look at what came for me today from Fashion File, all right? I started to open the box, but then I said I'll wait and open it with you guys. So, Fashion File, what can I say about Fashion File? Because this was my first time shopping with them, but I'd heard so many great things from them from just the videos that I watched here on YouTube. On Fashion File, you can order, purchase all types of designer bags. You can uh, purchase designer sunglasses, designer wallets, and I'm gonna say that's it. So I needed a new crossbody bag for, again, not only the Disney trip, but the Montreal trip. And I was just really having a hard time finding one. This is the crossbody bag right here that I, typically take on our trips to Disney World. I can put waters in here. I can put just a host of items 
and um, not feel weighed down or not have my bag feel bulky. So this is a Gucci bag right here, a Gucci crossbody bag. I have had it for several years. Eric purchased it for me several years ago and this is leather. Now, why not just carry this bag? Well, because these bags are expensive as you guys know and it was starting to show just a little bit of wear. And so in order to kind of preserve my purses, I try not to carry them so often or, you know, just have them worn out. So I wanted to find a replacement for this one and I was just really having a hard time, you know, finding one. So I'm um, just doing some research, went on to Fashion File and lo and behold, they had one. Theirs um, on Fashion File, it's also a Gucci, looks exactly like this one. It's just in the canvas um material or fabric this one is leather like i said but i felt the canvas would work out great because i already have the canvas gucci wallet so i usually carry these two together they weren't purchased together again this is leather this is canvas but when eric and i found the canvas one on fashion file we thought that would be perfect so if you order from Fashion File, this is what the inside of your box will look like. I hope you guys can see that. All right, just really pretty um, pink, gray, and white little streamers and tissue paper. You get a Fashion File thank you card. You have a Fashion File nail file. I thought that was so cute. It says Fashion File on there, all right and this is probably the receipt here and all of their um, merchandise is authenticated okay so fashion file these are all pre-loved items if i have not said that before okay these are all pre-loved items you can also um sell your items on fashion file okay so that's what i did so in here you just have these little fashion file cards uh this this card says buying a fashion file certified item means total peace of mind for the online shopper we go through a rigorous six-step certification process to ensure that each and every item that we sell is not only authentic but maintains our unparalleled high standards in quality and disclosure buying fashion file certified items gives you the confidence to carry your bag with pride all right and then I have my receipt right here, all right? So, you can feel comfortable buying your designer bag from Fashion File. All right, so, let's take a look. I like this little sticker right here. It says, use is the new new, okay? All right, so this is the dust bag it comes in. It's a Fashion File dust bag, okay? All right, let's see what it looks like. And yep, very almost identical to my leather Gucci crossbody. Almost identical. And there it is. I love it. So let me hold up the original one. All right. The one that I've had forever. Oh, wow. Quite a bit of size difference in that, too. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I love large bags. I love, love large bags, okay? All right, and so it has a, a little tag on here. It says, remove the tag on the bag. So if you get this bag, if you order from Fashion File, please be sure that you want to keep it, that you're happy with your purchase before you take the tag off, okay? So this is the Gucci GG Plus Monogram Medium Cross Body Bag, all right? So I love it. I love it. This is going to be great for getting on and off rides at Disney World, but also just strolling down the streets of Montreal, all right? So I love how this wallet just works. You know, just I can pair this wallet with either bag. The new one here and my older one all right so love 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 it all right guys so that is everything that's my little haul for today i'm gonna go ahead put all of these things away 
Hello and welcome to all of the new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for coming over and joining the channel. If you are new, drop a line in the comments. Say hello, let me know that this is your first time here and um, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.